All right, greetings. I don't know how this video is going to come out uh, given the current uh, player that I'm using, yet we're going to try. At least we could get the first shots of my uh, work and ingenious way to uh, get rid of the uh, white fly egg uh, lava on my collard greens. See how you see that? Uh, and uh, we have been battling with many pests. You know, greetings. So that's like wow, but up. Let me say that. This is yes. This is me. This is uh, Avena. This is Mama Earth coming to you live and in person from the recovery zone. Uh, the recovery room and the recovery garden of racism non anonymous <laughs> on this Labor Day weekend. And shucks, because it is Labor Day weekend, it for me is appropriate that I be in active labor for myself as I work to uh, eat or utilize the produce that I have worked to produce for self. And so because we uh, had this pest problem and we learned what we needed to learn from it and there are still certain ways to uh, benefit from the produce. It just takes a little extra work to clean the uh, greens off to clean this larva off and because it is so uh, challenging to just even brush off with the toothbrush I I thought to uh, get some hot boiling water sort of blanch them and I added a, a spot of vinegar to the water and just sort of dip them in at first I just kind of brushed them off and blanched them and then as I was going through that process I said wait a minute what if I just, you know, from the garden, stick them in the, the, the boiling water and clean them off and then allow them to dry out. And my intent is, because they are covered such that they um, are with white flies, it's not really comfortable to think about uh, cutting them up, cooking them, and eating them. At least since other people have a real hard time uh, with the notion and um, I so I said okay I will dry them out and use them as a nutritional supplement as was suggested by me uh, to me uh, from uh, I you know the true alchemist Mr. Anderson yeah he, he that's a brother is a, a true alchemist when it comes to dealing with me and interacting with me, Mama Earth. <laughs> um, he, he is like, wow, spot on. So this is uh, what I uh, came up with to do. And I can, uh, you know, kind of knock off uh, what I can, dip them here and use the toothbrush and just uh, wash them off, brush it off. So it's so extra work. It's a lot of labor. For me, it's a labor of love. These collard greens have come forward for me and produce uh, based on the efforts that I put into it and uh, we both went through the trauma of the attack from the pests and together we will salvage what we can of what we did and I will just like this plant uh, fought to live and hang on to to be available for me I will do this work to 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 clean it and be able to still use uh, and benefit from her, from me. So let's see how this day comes out and uh, we'll be back hopefully with a different camera and show you a bit more close up of the process that we are growing through. Okay.